So, now we will be learning what are the mechanisms that the plants have adapted for seed dispersal. So, in this it might be using the plants might be using other mo modes for the dispersal or it can develop a new mechanism in its own for seed dispersal. So, here if it is using by other modes we can say it as external factors. So, seed dispersal it can be by external factors or through self mechanism which is internal factors. So, seed dispersal it can be by external factors or by internal factors. So, external factors it can be both abiotic or biotic. So, external factors it can be biotic or abiotic. So, before we learn what is what are the factors? What is abiotic? We know biology. Biology means bio that is life. Ology means study. In the same way biotic means life. Abiotic which is not having life which are non living factors whereas, biotic are living factors. So, in this external factors, there are factors that is helping in dispersal both biotic and abiotic. So, biotic abiotic factors are wind and water. Abiotic factors we will be studying about wind and water in this. So, what how the wind is helping in dispersal is some seeds have developed some seeds have developed few mechanism that is they might be very light in weight they might be growing an outgrowth a white hairy outgrowth. So, that they can disperse through the wind. So, wind it the seeds can be taken away by the wind or they can propel by the wind and they can be moving away from the parent plant. So, the characters that we see in the seeds that dev that disperse through the wind dispersal is they might be light in weight, they will be light in weight and they will be small in size and they also have a hairy outgrowth. So, we can say that if it is wind dispersal the seeds will be light in weight, small in size and they will be having hairy outgrowth. So, here we can see an example of Calotropis. So, in this plant the fruit is having will be containing many number of seeds which are very flat in size and very small in shape, which are very small in size and are flat in shape. So, there will be an outgrowth and hairy outgrowth growing around it. So, that they can fly with the air with the wind. And the next example, <coughs> the next example milkweed. In this example also we can see that the seeds are having a hairy outgrowth. And in the third example that is dandelion, we can see the outgrowth is a parachute mode. So, they will be having an outgrowth which gives a parachute like structure and which can flow far off distances. And in the fourth example, we can see maple. 
So maple is a plant which has seeds which will be having a winged outgrowth. So here in the maple we can see that the seeds are having a winged outgrowth. And the next example is cotton. The next example is orchids where it is having an inflated outgrowth. So the seeds are light, small, hairy outgrowth or it might be having winged outgrowth or inflated outgrowth. And in the next example, cotton, we can see the, uh, the seed will be covered with the balls of hairy structure which helps in dispersal. So coming to the wind, we have learned that the wind is helping in seed dispersal which are where the seeds will be light in weight, small in size, they will be developing an outgrowth, it might be hairy in structure or it might be winged in nature or implanted in nature. 